1960s. Members of the 1960 class at Howard High School helped participate in some of the sit-ins. They recently shared some of their story with local school kids. New South's David Moore has another example of what's right with our schools. We sat in in a lunch counter, at a lunch counter, where previously African Americans could not sit. So today we have been talking about the Civil Rights Movement and um, so our students had the privilege of coming to Bessie Smith Cultural Center and we got to hear about the Howard sit-in, so some civil rights leaders just in our community, which is an amazing opportunity for our kids to have first-hand accounts of what happened rather than just reading it in a textbook. Our money was just like anyone else. We spent our money downtown and we know we were not treated fairly and we just wanted to and make a change. We had an amazing opportunity to hear from firsthand people um, with this this thing that happened in Chattanooga. So our students are able to kind of come in and just, you know, they've been able to document it, but it's more than just reading in a textbook and watching a video about it. They got to hear people say what happened here in our community. What was the waitress's reaction the first time they sat at the counter? The waitresses had to do what their supervisors indicated that they should do. I think you get like more emotional like feeling what they actually did and how they did it and like learning more like how they did it. So we decided one day sitting in the classroom, I think it was trigonometry classes for said before, that decided to get together and go have a sit-in. Even though they were in high school and they were kind of naive, just high schoolers, uh, they decided to do this and decided to make a change. It's interesting because our kids are in this time period where we have a lot of peaceful protests happening and I love that um, the speakers kind of related it back to that. So the students are, you know, learning how to be peaceful protesters and learn about how to just raise awareness in our community and for things that maybe they believe is wrong or right, but they are able to hear about how to do that from people who did it well. Great job. And if you have an idea for a story, go to our website, WDEF.com. Look at the icon that says, What's Right With Our Schools? You're going to find a link to post your story idea. Now, from